Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I'm so excited to be with you today and bring you a really fun card. I am focusing on the Quiet Meadow Bundle today. We'll be using the bundle, which is the stamp set and the matching dies. These dies are to die for, they're amazing. Look at all of these gorgeous flowers. We're gonna be using those today. And we're gonna be using the stamp set for the sentiment here. You're too kind. And we're also gonna use this sentiment, this little like um, background kind of stamp. We're gonna use the flower on the inside of the card. So it's gonna be fun. I'm also using the Parisian dyes embossing folder here. And this is a 3D embossing folder. It's super thick. I've already run this through my die cut machine and this is what you get. Isn't it gorgeous when you press it through this folder? So this is one of the pieces we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that aside. As an added piece, we're gonna be using the second of these skinny rectangles on the side, the second down for our card. I'll show you the card we're gonna make. Here it is. Isn't it pretty? So the flowers um, in this die set, I chose to use um, this one today and I have die cut it in a few different colors. So that's it right there. So I've done it in four different colors. I have to pull those little pieces out of the top. You'll get to watch that funness. <laughs> And like I said, um, my rectangle dies, I've already cut those for us. And we've used this one right here, the second one down. Also out of the meadow dies, besides the flower, I have also used the little tag, which is really pretty that comes in here. And I've that's we're using that. We're gonna do a little heat embossing today as well. So we have quite a few things to do, but we will have some fun together, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, just do a little bit of housekeeping first. So we're gonna start with this half sheet of eight and a half by 11, cut down the middle here, and um, I'm going to use my bone folder to score it. So let's go ahead and fold that. And now we're going to attach this beautiful piece that I just showed you that I pressed out of there. And because it's kind of bumpy, I like to use a wet adhesive um, to attach it. This glue is super strong and it fits into all the little nooks and crannies so it will really grab onto my card base. So let's go ahead and attach that and get that out of the way. Perfect. We'll flip this over and we're going white on white here to add a texture. I cut it just a little bit shorter on all the sides. So there is that, isn't it pretty? So pretty. All right, now we're gonna do our panels and there's three of them. So they are gonna get layered like so onto my card, okay? Obviously they're gonna be a lot neater than that, but I'm gonna bring my card up here so you guys can see them, place it up here out of the way. Before I do that, I wanna add some words over the top. So I'm gonna stamp that in our lovely pool party ink. Let's get that open and get our stamp out. Here is the stamp, isn't it nice? So let's go ahead and ink that. So I'm gonna put a little ink on there and I'm gonna bring it down here where I can see a little better. I know it's near the bottom of your screen, but hopefully you can still see. I am going to stamp once and then I'm gonna lift up and stamp again. So it kind of gives it a double tone and it'll lighten as it seeps into the paper. It won't be quite that dark. So then this one, I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna do that one first and then come across the top. So I have one at the bottom, one at the top. I'll do another one with the dark at the top for this one. So we're gonna go up 
and then down. So we get first generation and second generation stamping. That's the stamping we're gonna do on there. So let me clean my stamp. And now that they have been stamped, we can go ahead and attach those onto our um, background here. So we'll try and go as we're going along and put our pieces. So this one here, I'm gonna put in the middle. And then these that are stamped at the top, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between them. Once I found my right placement and I'm happy, I'm gonna glue the middle one down first so that I can um, have the right amount of spacing. That will help me by putting the middle one down first. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and place it. This glue also gives you some wiggle room, which I love about it. Whoops, don't move. Then you're gonna ruin my whole purpose here. So once I have that middle one down, then I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna do this bottom one next and I wanna leave about the same distance as what's between the top and the middle one. That's why putting the middle one down first helps me. It's my guide. The top two, the bottom and the top one helped me lay the middle one and now the middle one's gonna help me place each of the others. So we're gonna go ahead and put this down here like that. Press it down. And let's do the top one. I really love this multi-purpose glue for when you have an uneven surface and also when you need some wiggle room to move stuff around because it gets in all the nooks and crannies and it also allows you to move things and have a little bit of space to kind of slide it around here, which is what I'm doing right now. And if this is not completely, totally perfect, it's okay. The main focal point is the flowers and you'll be able to see those. So once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and press that down. So now the flowers, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool and this is the pointed end and I'm gonna go ahead and poke out, I think I have some adhesive on my surface here that wants to grab my card. I'm gonna poke out these little in, insert pieces that kind of stuck and go ahead and let them fall, fall to the piece and then I'll get rid of them all at the same time. So let's pop these little guys out. Perfect. And this bottom one. This one must still be stuck to the pink. Oh no, it is. I don't know where that one went. Here, let's do this Calypso Coral. I really love these um, pastel colors. I think they're really pretty. And they go really well with that pool party. All right, so now those are ready. I'm going to get rid of them from my mat so you guys don't have to see it. All right, let's go. And I'm gonna throw those away and then we will start gluing them. So I will grab my silicone mat and we will put some glue on the back of these flowers. You can also use our adhesive sheets before you die cut them, if you think about it, I obviously didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my, I'm telling you, some days. When I was designing, I was just designing and I didn't really pay attention. So, it's okay. We're gonna start with the yellow one. It's my furthest back flower. So we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on it. Um, it has a pretty decent amount of room here and the glue doesn't come out way fast, so it's okay, we can use it. We're going to um, put it down even these stem parts because we want it all to stay stuck to our card. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to attach this to the card so that I don't get glue all over me. So let's go ahead and move the mat temporarily out of the way. I'll move it back up in a minute. And we're gonna go ahead and put this flower kind of in the middle like this. All right. 
So one flower down. Let's do the purple one next. Bring this back up. And the purple one's going to go to the left. I hope you guys are enjoying this card and think it's pretty. It's not too hard to make. I love using the embossing folders. They add such pretty texture to my projects. I do use them often. So let's pick this one up and move again our mat out of the way. And we'll put our purple flower down, kind of off to the side, to the left, a little farther down. That looks pretty awesome. Make sure that our stems are all about in the same place. That looks good. I want them all around the middle section here. So now we'll do our Calypso Coral next. So let's grab that one. If you want to watch me make cards like this live, I go live three days a week on my Facebook business page. I'll put the description and the link below for you guys. Um, and it's Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturday afternoon. So Tuesday and Thursday are in the evening and um, Saturdays are in the afternoon. So I will put that and you can check out my Facebook business page. And um, if you have Facebook, you can like my page um, and like me as, add me as a friend if you'd like. Um, and you will get notifications if you like my page. Um, and then you will know when I'm going live and get a notification so that you can pop in on my lives. But um, I really enjoy making cards and in the live I can take questions, um, obviously. On the recorded I can't answer your questions but you can leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to answer you there but in the lives I can answer your questions live so that's a plus to watching me there but I also love to have you on YouTube watching me as well I am new to YouTube so I am learning I haven't made any videos that I have edited yet. They've all just been who about me. So you get to see the real me. <laughs> Mistakes, bobbles, outtakes. All right, so there's our flower. So now we're gonna do the you're too kind and we're gonna add that to this really pretty label. Let me get that label out and here is the stamp that we're using. All right, and we're gonna use these speckle dots over the top of it. But first thing we're gonna do is when you do any kind of embossing, you wanna have some kind of powder over the top to kind of get the oils from your fingers from going on top of it. And you can buy these, um, from Amazon or um, anywhere, they're a powder bag and you just kind of brush them over the top of the surface that you're getting ready to emboss, heat emboss with. The reason being the powder that we're going to use to put on the top to make the letters white, it's a white powder, it's very fine and because it's so fine, um, the little particles can stick and so we don't want that to happen, right? So we're gonna use, this is our virtual mark pad. I'm gonna bring this down so I can really stamp where I can see. And I'm gonna try and get it as close to the center as I can. There we go, you're too kind. And let's go ahead and heat emboss this. I'm gonna use the virtual mark again in a minute, but after it's heat embossed. So this is my powder. It actually comes in a little jar and I pour it into these containers because I like to be able to stick my piece in the container and 
put my powder on, it's a lot easier than dumping powder out and then having to put it back into the jar. So as you can see, I'm flicking off my excess powder. I'm also gonna use a brush here in case there's any loose powder and wipe that away before I start heat embossing. Because once I add heat to this powder, it's gonna melt the powder and wherever it is on this card, on this little label here, it's gonna live. So I just wanna make sure that I've gotten all my extras out. And one key is cover your powder before you bring your heat tool in because you don't wanna mess. So I'm gonna use my paintbrush, the end of it, to hold this down because this heat tool is actually very, very warm. And so this will keep my fingers from getting too hot. I'm gonna put my heat tool on, I'm gonna get it started, and then I'm bringing it in here, and you're gonna be able to see kind of a change that's gonna turn white and solid as the powder melts. Hopefully I'm not right over your shot here where you can see this. I'm trying to do it from the side. Give it one more pass over the top. Make sure that it's really done. All right. So there is that. Here it is. If it, it blew away at the end there. <laughs> so there is my stuff. And so now over the top of it, what I want to do is I want to put some speckle dots. I really like these, the speckle dot stamp in this series and so I'm going to use it and my Versamark ink and I'm just going to put some speckle dots on my tag. They're kind of subtle, I don't know if you can see them, but they're awesome. There they are. Now if I put powder on those they would be powder on them, but if you just let them dry they will dry like normal and so it's a, another way of adding tone on tone if you don't have all of the matching inks. So I could have used the Versamark if I wanted instead of the pool party on here, and it would have given it the illusion that I had used also um, a pool party ink on top. All right, now we have this. We're going to use some dimensionals. Dimensionals are foam little dots here and we're gonna put them across three is good I like to use my take your pick tool um, it is the real reason I call it that is that there's lots of pieces this is a um, putty end which I use to pick up embellishments but this end here is pointy and I use it to take the backs off of these Stampin dimensionals because they're hard to get off and when you pull them off with the tool, they all stay stuck on there and they don't end up on your floor. All right, so we are going to put this label across, maybe a little bit more to the right. That looks awesome. Perfect. And as a finishing touch, we're going to use these pretty 2021 to 2023 in color jewels, if I can open them properly. I always have um, a hard time figuring out what I'm doing. So we'll use a yellow one and a purple one and a green one maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our little tool and we'll grab a, a yellow one here. Come on, put that one right here. And then we'll add a purple one, maybe a small purple one. No, maybe a large purple one this time. Right here. And then over here, I'm going to add a green one. It kind of looks like pool party a little bit. I like it. I'm going to make it a baby. We'll put that one right there. So that just adds a little bit of sparkle. Isn't it pretty? So that is my card. We're gonna do the inside real fast because you know you gotta make the inside pretty too, guys, right? Not just the outside. So let me put my um, gems away here and then we will move to the inside of the card. I almost forgot that we had to make it just as pretty 
and uh, we're gonna do that real fast here. So let's go ahead and open it to the inside. We'll grab this stamp here, which has this really pretty flower. We'll add some speckle dots to kind of tie those dots in. Let's use our um, full party ink. Let's stamp this flower right here. Perfect. And then let's also stamp some speckle dots, but I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and put under it because I don't want a mess on my surface. So let's put some speckle dots on our flower. I love those speckle dots. And see then when someone opens their card, they have some of the outside on the inside. I like to do that. And now we are complete. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this card. We have um, a beautiful flower card here that you can send to somebody. Um, thank you for watching me. As you know, I've mentioned already, I'm new to YouTube, so please help me out by like, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Ask your friends to subscribe too. And when you subscribe, you're gonna get notifications of when I post new videos. Um, also check out my blog. I have the link in the description below. And when you go there, you can access PDFs and measurements and more fun projects. I have a whole week's worth of projects on my blog with this um, stamp set the quiet meadow so i really appreciate um you guys watching and thanks again this is kelly with inky hands warm hearts happy stamping